So if you have a hunting lease in Texas or in an area that has wild hogs, chances are you're going to encounter some issues with torn up feeders, torn up food plots, uh, and just havoc on equipment and, and resources for your hunting lease. That's the case for me, and I'm going to show you in this video how to hog proof a feeder so when a sounder of pigs come in uh, and they're rooting around, they won't knock the feeder over uh, and trash your setup. John, welcome to my channel. This channel has hunting, fishing, gear reviews, RV trips, cooking, and just about everything in between. So if you're into any of that, like and subscribe and I'll share content as I'm able. So my camera batteries died. I have a spy point uh, cell camera that sends pictures uh, when it's motion activated and thing trips and you know, it's, it's nice because I can look down at my phone and see if there's a deer or, or a pig or coons or whatever it is at the feeder. So the batteries died. My lease is about an hour and a half away from where I live. So it took me a couple of weeks to, to get time to go out there. When I do go out there, I usually take corn and fill my feeders up and just maintain everything and make a good, you know, a good day out of it. And so on this trip, uh, got there, had corn, had everything ready to go, and then when I pulled up to my spot, I saw my feeder laying out <laughs> in several pieces. Um, what started out as one hog has now turned into 13 hogs. So you, you can imagine as all these hogs come running in, if they all go into an area that's really small and your feeder has three legs, at some point, it's gonna tip over unless you have it secured. So this is what we're gonna to do to secure. You're gonna need some items. Of course, you gotta have a feeder. Uh, you're also gonna need some T-posts, the green fence posts uh, that you can set up for, for temporary fencing or, or fencing in panels. You're gonna need some baling wire or heavy gauge thick wire uh, you're going to need a hammer or a hatchet or something to, or a T-post driver to drive the T-post into the ground. Uh, you're also going to need some cutters. So with that, let's get started. So I came to fill feeders up and the hogs have knocked over this feeder. I was kind of afraid that was going to happen. So I'm going to have to put it back up, put it together and clean it out and then wire up some posts to make sure it doesn't fall over again. So hogs have knocked over our feeder. We came up here to fill it up just a minute ago and check batteries and put batteries in the camera again. And it was laid out over here on the ground in, in multiple pieces. So we're gonna hog proof. We got wire cutters and then some t-posts here that we're going to take and sink in the ground then we're going to wire them to the feeder to the feeder legs and that'll keep the uh, keep hogs from knocking it over again all right so what we want to do is take our t-post and put it where where it's going to touch the leg and then we can take wire and put around it. Probably want to get somewhere about halfway up the leg because the last thing we want to do is to have wire hanging. Now 
I'll take another few times. Take a section of bailing wire, I don't know, a couple feet long, and then we'll run it through. These T posts have holes in them, so we'll make sure we run it through this hole, loop it around a couple times, like so. over. Now let's fill it with corn. 